Hi everyone, I'm Anubha, the storyteller, and today I'm going to tell you a beautiful story about these beautiful hens who live together. Yeah, and one of those hens was called Heta, and the other was called Hilda. Now, Heta and Hilda were sisters. Hmm? So, Hilda was plump, shiny, and had black feathers. Heta was a little dull, brown, and she was Hilda's older sister. And she really used to take care of her sister. Now, uh, they were not from the same clutch of eggs, you see. <laughs> one of them was born earlier, the other later. So who was the younger one? Hilda. And who was the older one? Heta. Great. Now, every morning, long after the cock had crowed, cock, 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 all the hens waddled out for breakfast. Waddled means they waddled long out for breakfast. Now Hilda was very popular. She was always in the middle of the crowd clacking about this, clacking about that. And one day there was a new hen in the yard and she had fluffy white feathers and everyone crowded to meet her. And this hen was called Chantel. And everyone said, oh, Chantel, what a beautiful name. Everyone cooed and clucked and everyone wanted to be her friend. Except Hilda. Hmm. Chantel's prettier than me. Hmm. And she's even more popular now. So the older sister, Heta, said, don't be silly. You are also pretty. And you look at your feathers, the beautiful, shiny black feathers. You're pretty in a different way. Everybody doesn't have to be pretty in the same way, right? Now, Hilda didn't listen. And maybe she wandered around somewhere. Now they could not find Hilda. All the hens crowded around and all the hens crowded and they said, the fox is back. <gasps> what? The fox is back? Hedda said, oh, but Hilda's missing. Where would she be? Maybe the fox has taken her. Rushed all around the farmyard looking for Hilda. So, Hedda went out and she asked the pig, Have you seen Hilda? Hmm. The pig was too busy eating. He did not say a word. Then she asked the cat. The cat was too rude to reply. She didn't say a word. Then she met the cockerel. So she asked the cockerel. And the cockerel said, she was around earlier, disturbing me while I was preening my feathers. Hmm. Heta went back to the farmyard. And Hilda was there. And you know what Hilda had? On top of her head, Hilda had some cockerel feathers. <gasps> and she stuck them on her head and on her tail and she was strutting around the coop. Check me out, check me out, I am Hilda. Now the other hens were giggling <coughs> behind their wings. <laughs> they all admitted that Hilda looked silly. That night at the hen house, Heta and Hilda were talking and they were talking amongst each other and then Hilda said, I don't know why everyone likes uh, Chantal so much. Everyone thinks she's so wonderful. So Heta said, well Chantal is a very nice hen, Hilda. 
Yeah, I know why. Just because her feathers are perfect. Next morning, everyone gathered and there was silence. The fox was back because some of the hen's eggs were missing. And everyone looked around and Hilda was missing too. <gasps> oh my god, did the fox take Hilda? Hedda was worried. All the hens looked all around, asked around, looked for Hilda. But Hilda was nowhere to be found. And they were tired. When they went back, Hilda was back. And Hilda had some peacock feathers stuck to her head this time. Yes, peacock feathers. All the hens were cross with her and they said, well, we will be spend the entire day looking for her and look at her. She stuck peacock heathers. That night, Hetta told Hilda that Hilda, you don't need these peacock feathers to look beautiful. You are beautiful just as you are. And while they were talking, they heard a sound. And the fox was back. And you know who had he caught this time? The fox had Chantel in his mouth ready to devour her. Just then, Hilda plucked out a peacock feather from far and tickled the fox. And the fox went off. And Chantel was dropped and they ran and saved their life. Everybody was happy and the next morning when all the hens waddled out for breakfast, Hilda was busy telling the story of how she shaved Sand, of how she saved Chantel. And she said, well, I think that is the best use of peacock feather that I can find. And she had Chantel under her wing. And finally, they had all become friends. And this is a story called Hen's Feathers. And it's written by Catherine Sully and Frank Endersby. So it's a beautiful story. If you like this story, please comment on the video and let me know. Parents, if you have any questions, please do uh, drop your questions in the uh, comment section below. And you can find an Uber the Storyteller anywhere. If you want, you can write to me and you'll find me with an Uber the Storyteller everywhere. And Extra Kids uh, is going to come up with a new video right after this. I'm going to be back with Extra Kids for all of you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Heta and Hilda's story. If you did, do let me know what kind of stories would you like to hear for the next week. And I'm going to come back with them. Till then, stay home, stay safe. And stay happy. Bye.